I am back at it again with another battery charge test, but this time we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm gonna have two of these devices testing out the MagSafe versus the 30 watt charger. And the reason why I'm using the 30 watt, if you watch part one, my previous video, you guys can see that the 30 watt is the one to get. I recommend that one. So how does it stack up against the predecessor, the iPhone 15 Pro Max? And just for the sake of science, I'm also gonna be including the MagSafe with the 30 watt attached to it on both the 15 Pro Maxes and the 16 Pro Maxes. So this is gonna be an interesting test and some quick disclaimers that I wanna disclose. I am gonna be swapping out the cable. So instead of the cable that's included with the iPhone, which is USB 2.0 type C, I'm gonna be swapping that out for USB 3. So it should maybe help with the charging speeds. And of course we have the official 30 watt power adapter from Apple alongside, this is the new MagSafe that Apple sells to enable faster wireless MagSafe charging. I wanna make this test as fair as I can and I gotta tell you guys, thank you guys so much for all your feedback on my last charge test video. I'm doing the best I can here. Oh, I just noticed this desert titanium matches my jacket perfectly fine. And even the natural titanium, this matches my outfit. So with that being said, let's begin with the charge test. Hope you guys enjoy, drop a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's begin. And they are off. So my left side, we have the 15 Pro Max and another 15 Pro Max. And then to the right side on the center, we have the 16 Pro Maxes with the 30 watt wire charging and MagSafe charging. The one that booted up first was the 15 Pro Max on the wire charging. And then right after we had the MagSafe 16 Pro Max. And then shortly after the type C 30 watt charger on the 16 Pro Max, and we still waiting for the 15 Pro Max to boot up. This one kind of took a little long, but um, you gotta. I just want to show you guys that all of the settings are disabled. So optimized battery charging, clean energy charging, all that stuff is disabled. But just to give you guys some transparency even further, just disabling them. So now there's a weird bug every so often. The Apple Pay screen will come up. I don't know why it does that, but it's been a thing since the iPhone 14, and Apple still hasn't fixed it. But now at this point on, I'm a little concerned that the 15 Pro Max is stuck at 10%, but remember these phones are off with the always on display um, enabled. So I waked up each device just to kind of see the percentage exactly and straighten up the phones too as well. Uh, it's sometimes hard to keep these phones kind of steady because the wires are so, it's lifting the phone up. And even on the other 15 Pro Max with the MagSafe is still kind of stuck, but it is moving around. But I noticed I have to wake the display up to really see the full percentage. And once I woke it up that one time, you start seeing it move too as well. Yeah, but you could clearly see that the 16 Pro Max is charging faster already at 80% on the first hour. And at this point on, this is a perfect time to test out the heat. And pretty much all of the Pro Maxes across the board here are basically the same exact percentage, ranging between 100 degrees to 104. And maybe even sometimes speaking out of 105 too as well. So I'm just looking at different kind of parts of where the hottest points are. And of course, I have to show you guys the heat so you can see exactly. And same thing here. It's about the same exact temperature here. So 107, uh, here is 103. So it's a little cooler on the wire charging, surprisingly. And I'm going to test out the bricks too in a little bit. But yeah, basically about the same. Nothing way too cooler, nothing too hot as well. The MagSafe might even be the hotter points, or 107, basically the same exact temperature across the board. And in terms of the power adapters here, it was interesting about the MagSafe by the cable point, by the beginning point, that's where it's the most hottest at 111 degrees. But the wire chargers, mostly by the brick, is going to be the hottest point at 100 degrees. So yes, it is cooler technically by charging your phone via the wire. And same thing with the 15 Pro Max, it's basically about the same thing. So I just wanted to show you guys the heat. <laughs> I mean, the MagSafe is definitely the hottest and the wire charging is definitely the coolest, but it all depends on the different environments that you're in uh, or how high you charge your phone. Because sometimes if you're in a cool environment, it's gonna neglect the heat here. So just keep that in mind. Now at this point on, it is 1.46 in the morning, so when I was filming this, so at this point I was getting a little tired, so 
Uh, right now, what's in the lead is the 16 Pro Max, which is interesting considering that quote unquote is the same as like charging speeds, but it is beating out the 15 Pro Maxes and even the MagSafe, of course, which is supporting that 25 watt of wired uh, wireless charging. I mean, and you can see that, yes, it is faster, but it's, it is a difference actually, but it's still going to take over an hour to charge your phone from zero to a hundred. So I wish Apple for the next generation would really prioritize charging speeds because if you have to be in a rush and your phone is completely dead, then it would be nice to charge your phone from zero to a hundred so you can get that perfect percentage. So yeah, as you can see the MagSafe, forget about it. It's definitely the slowest one here on the table, four hours for the 16 Pro Max. Uh, via MagSafe, and then we still just waiting for the 15 Pro Max. And at this point, it's six o'clock in the morning. At this point, I'm sleeping, but um, we're just still waiting for the 15 Pro Max to finish. And at that point, boom, six hours and 39 minutes. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm really hoping that Apple will improve the charging speeds for the next generation iPhone. Hopefully, fingers are crossed, but this is just what it is right now. And by the way, all the phones are on the latest version of iOS 18. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. iPhone 15 Pro Max versus the iPhone 16 Pro Max charge test using 30 watt across the board with the MagSafe as well. I gotta say it's a difference, but it's not a day and night difference. So it's neck on neck. So technically it's a myth that's bust. You're not really getting faster charging on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And the reason where I got that from, Marquez did specify that it has 45 watt of fast charging but it's not gonna take the entire 45 watts. It's up to, but it's not nowhere near taking that many watts. The iPhone is barely even taking 30 watts to charge it. And like I said on my other videos, iPhone batteries are sophisticated. It knows exactly how much battery it needs and it's gonna also maintain the battery health. So that's why they have optimized battery charging on and all the safety toggles to protect your battery. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I am loving the iPhone 16. My personal one that I went with this year is the black. I'm loving this color so much. And even so, the desert titanium is growing on me, but since I already had the natural titanium, it's kind of so similar. It's a light color, so I wanted to go dark this year. So if you guys want to see a review on this on the iPhone 16 Pro, let me know down in the comments down below. Of course, a day in life is in the works. I'm taking a trip to Arizona again that's going to be a great day in the life to test out the iPhone 16 Pro. So nonetheless, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, appreciate it with a thumbs up, subscribe with notifications on. And until next time, guys, hope you all have a simple day. Peace.